Okay, YouTubers, we're back here in the budget Mustang Fox Body drag place. We got a part in today that we've been waiting on. We're gonna, I had to redo the video because I couldn't get the box open. So obviously it was idiot proof. Anyway, we got some mufflers for the, uh, project car and um, let's see what we got here I'm probably doing a terrible job of filming this so you guys will just have to excuse me while I rifle through these all right oh, I'm gonna tear this box up give me that there we go okie dokie what we have here ooh, they're pretty big what we have here is a, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. You know, I really need to, like, invest in a tripod or something. So I don't drive anyone crazy. This, well, at least the three people that are watching drive them crazy. All right. This is what we got for our car. It is a three-inch one-chamber. I'm a big fan of bullet mufflers these are not bullets um, they're a one chamber three inch muffler um, I like bullets as you can tell I have bullets on this car these are a three inch bullet that goes on one of the other cars Turn this light on real quick. Oh, maybe I should actually pull the chain. There we go. These go on one of the other cars. Um, they're a three inch bullet and um, they work, work really well. They're not the greatest sounding muffler in the world. Um, obviously it depends on the combination, but just for driving around, they're really loud. My neighbors, um, they hate them. <laughs> so, not that I've ever had any complaints, but I'm a courteous neighbor, so I try not to do that. But the, I was actually, the reason those are not on the car that they go with is I was, a friend of mine was going to go to the dyno, and he wanted to try them compared to what he had, and it, it, he hasn't been able to get up there yet. So, and I haven't put them back on yet. But I got these for the project car that I'm working on right now in the hopes that They'll give me a little bit of room to work with because of the cobbled up nature of the exhaust system that I'll have on the car. I didn't want the smaller um, regular style muffler. I wanted the oval. And I went with a one chamber just to uh, make it where hopefully it's a little manageable sound wise. Cause I really kind of wanted to drive this car a little bit more. I mean, I've got so many cars. I try and drive them as much as I can, and but they're some of them are kind of racy, and I just actually drove one of them for, well, a month. Um, a friend of mine's GTO was broke down, and he was using a car that I normally daily drive, um, Fox Mustang, and, of course, he didn't like it. He's a GM guy, but it got him back and forth to work, and I was driving one of the other cars, but it has a spool in it, and just makes it a little bit um, not as daily drivable I guess even though it doesn't bother me it just chatters around in parking lots and stuff and police officers tend to frown on that so hopefully I was hoping that these would be let me try and get that a little bit it's hard to see in there these will hopefully be a little quieter than the bullets while still flowing pretty well um, I don't I don't know they were but they are relatively cheap um, bullets are right around $45 for a piece and I just I really didn't want to spend that kind of money so I figured I'd give these a shot um, both of these together shipped were $56.99 free shipping off of eBay and these are basically like a Jones style muffler or a Colt exhaust, I think, is actually who makes these. So, anyway, I've also got 
our, sorry, three inch tip. And we'll have to get that on there and see how it all, whoops, there we go. We'll have to see how it all works out. I'm probably have to cut the flare off. But um, anyway, just one more piece of the puzzle. Okay, YouTube, we're out working on our project car again. And we have got our little Harbor Freight welder. And we are fixing to... I got my janky exhaust system tacked up. This is a combination of AutoZone stuff and an H-pipe a buddy of mine gave me. I got one side just tacked up so I can finish uh, goobering it all together. And then we'll uh, get on the other side, which is the more difficult side. And um, I've got enough pieces, I think, uh, cut up to where I can get it all spliced up to where we'll have a semblance of an exhaust system. So then we'll, you know, shoot some black paint on. I've got a turn down for it, you know, for both sides. And uh, we'll shoot some black paint on it. Uh, drill us some hangers up in the body and we'll have us an exhaust system that maybe sounds decent, maybe makes a little bit of power. It's just three inch garbage. Um, I just, I don't have a lot of money in it. So that was the thing. A buddy of mine gave me the H pipe. And so I could have took it to the exhaust shop, but you know, hey, when you can, you know, make it look terrible yourself, why not do that? So anyway, just a quick update. All right, YouTube, we've got our exhaust kind of cobbled together. Honestly, it's just loosely fitted up in there. Um, we got it all kind of pieced together. You know, it doesn't look great. We had to cut up our H pipe a little bit and whatnot, but we got it all bolted in. And now we're going to, whoops, we're gonna shoot some black paint on it. We've got a few other things we gotta do. Yeah, that's a hose clamp. Um, we got a few other things we got to do, and we'll uh, we'll have some more updates on this thing, and uh, we'll get the motor. I have a video of it running. I hope it's. Um, I've had it running a few times. I've had a few issues. I'll explain those. I guess when I do the overall thing on the car, um, hasn't been pretty, but we're working on it. And we're going to try and have this thing going here for long and uh, get some action shots. So anyway, all right, we are out.